Welcome to Stateroom 14,000, the three bedroom garden villa on the Norwegian Jade. And as you can see, there's actually a piano in the room, which is all good fun. But this is the main living area, big screen TV, nice view over the ship. Uh, we've got a desk in the corner, a uh, nice sort of sofa. There's a doorway through to another little table and chairs out there and out to the hot tub. And uh, we have a sort of entrance hallway down this corridor. And there is, of course, a bar and a table, nice large dining table. You can host a dinner party there. That's quite funny, actually. I tap it bounce right around. Mike's on there. What do you want me to do? No, you can put, just put some of this little button playing and then Brevin puts some of that piano music on. That's not bad. Comedian at the show. Uh, what are you planning for dinner? Well, we were going Cagney's to go to Cagney's for steak. If we go through the corridor down to the reception area, we have a sort of lobby which is you know, completely pointless, lots of space. That's the main door into the suite. And uh, not a lot to see in the reception area. There's a, there's a little sort of space there with a chair and a telephone. That's the corridor down to the bedrooms. There is actually a, a small toilet off reception. A lot of videos start by showing you the toilet, which seems a bit pointless. There's some large doors that go through to the, the outside deck there with the hot tub and the corridor going through to the main living area. And of course, a little table for you to put your hats and things like that. <coughs> Moving on to the bedrooms. So there's three bedrooms, as you can see. There's also a sort of fire exit extra door on the right there. This is basically bedroom three. It's probably the second biggest looking at it. It's got um, quite a nice room. As you can see, there's again a large screen TV. No idea of artwork on the wall. And it's got its own little balcony there with a couple of chairs and a table outside, which is nice in the sun. Nice big double bed, excuse the idiot in the mirror. And it's got its own bathroom, shower and toilet there. So moving on to bedroom number two which I think is just about the smallest. It's difficult to tell. They're, they're all quite large rooms. Again, a balcony, as you can see. So let's just go around bedroom number two. Very similar. There's a, a large television. You'll notice the, the classic uh, towel and flannel animals they put on the beds. Again, a balcony, chair, tables, big double bed, idiot in the mirror. And it has its own bathroom and toilet, just the same. Now, moving on to bedroom number one. This is the, the much more impressive room. This is the master bedroom. So we have a corridor before we even get into it. sloth hanging from the curtain there. So let's run around the master bedroom. Huge mirror, very large bed, desk, table, telephone. This massive long uh, panorama view of the sea uh, with a large screen television in the middle. And there's uh, behind those curtains a separate door going out to the hot tub. More folded blankets and, well not blankets, folded towel animals. And the master bedroom has its own complete bathroom, which is huge. So let's run around the bathroom, two sinks and mirrors, like I need two sinks and mirrors. There's a doorway through to the hot tub again, uh, a bath. Looks like my uh, swimming shorts drying on that. 
loads of space for flannels, a shower, a toilet, lots of towels. And that's actually the way through to the walk-in wardrobe. And of course another table and mirror, just in case there aren't enough. Let's go and have a look at the walk-in wardrobe. Now, unusually for me, I did actually hang up some clothes in this wardrobe. Surprisingly enough, that's the main entrance corridor into the bedroom. Again, lots of shelves. At one point we'd gone into the hot tub and I left all my clothes on the floor, came back, couldn't find them anywhere. They were piled up in the walk-in wardrobe. The maid had tidied them away. They keep doing that, which is all very nice, unless you're trying to find your clothes. You could get lost in here. So if we go on through the bathroom, out through the, the door into the uh, deck 14 deck here with the hot tub in it, <coughs> you can probably tell I filmed the, the travelling shots here at a different time. The hot tub was actually empty there because that was the morning of our last day before we disembarked. But the entire trip, day or night, the hot tub's there, hot. Uh, those are the doors into the main bedroom and the main bathroom. And there is actually a steam room there with a smoke alarm in the lobby there. So if you leave the door open, it sets off the steam room smoke alarm. That's a door into the main living area. And you have another table and chairs there, which we saw earlier. And then finally, if we go upstairs, onto deck 15, you will see nice private sun deck. That sort of diagonal bit in front of us there is actually the, the corner that is the uh, balcony for the room 15,000, the owner's suite, which is much smaller and not uh, quite as luxurious. And there we have the hot tub. So, what's that not there? <laughs> Thank you for watching. It's, uh, it's a very impressive stateroom if you can get it and uh, I highly recommend it. It doesn't come cheap. It's probably about the size of 10 of the larger cabins you normally have in the Haven. But uh, it is rather nice and it sleeps 8 apparently. <laughs>